Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent sensory consultant. I'm here with my warm reviews of the first 10 of the June 2023 Bring Back My Bars. My first 10 that I warmed, and then I'll do a part two with the other 10. So I've warmed 10, and I'm just gonna start and tell you what I thought of them. So you can maybe decide if you wanna purchase them or not, based on what I thought. But everybody's, you know, everybody's scent preferences are different, so just keep in mind, watch a bunch of different reviews and see what you might think. So I'm just gonna give you my thoughts. So first up we have Plum and White Woods. And this is Sweet Raspberry Preserves and Damson Plum Weave Through Vanilla Orchid. So this one's nice, I like this. Um, I get the floral and then like those fruit. Uh, the plum, raspberry preserves, um, I get kind of raspberry. I don't know exactly if it's preserves necessarily, but uh, it's just kind of a fruity scent. But then that floral, that vanilla orchid really, it gives it a little bit of floral quality. So it's kind of like a fruity floral a little bit, but it blends into like a real pretty scent. It's funny because it says white woods, but it doesn't have any woods in the notes. Vanilla orchid, damn some plum, and raspberry preserve. So uh, the plum, but I don't know where they're getting the woods because the woods aren't in the notes. But it, it kind of, you can maybe get a little bit of like a wood in there a little bit. Maybe it almost smells like it has a touch of sandalwood a little bit to me, even though that's not listed in the notes. But it could have a little touch of sandalwood in there to me. Um, I liked it. It was nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of blonde wood and moonflower. From bringing back my bar last summer. I'm thinking it does. I wish I had that with me to compare, but I don't. But I'm thinking it's giving me hints of that. So I had this going downstairs in the bedroom downstairs, the bathroom, and then the open area down there. It's like a little rec room area. I had it going down there. I had the whole bar going through the warmers out there. I have like one, two, three, four warmers and a mini warmer. So I had those this bar I'll disperse through those warmers. Um, I started it, this was going for about two days. So 48 hours. I have, I have my notes written down here. I took notes as usual with the bring back my bars. I have, it's a pleasant scent. It's floral from the vanilla orchid and the plum and raspberry preserves blend nicely with the floral. Got a slight wood note. Yes, uh, although not listed in notes, just in the title. Kind of gives me blonde wood moonflower vibes. And the throw was, it was about a six out of 10. So it was kind of a medium-ish, light medium. Um, it lasted two days almost. And I would repurchase because I did enjoy this scent. It was really nice. So that's plum and white woods. Next is cherry vanilla. And this is a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. So, I actually like this a little bit better on warming than I did on cold. On cold, I was a little unsure about it, but I like kind of liked it when, when it was warming. So, you for sure get the cherry. It's kind of a sweet candy cherry. It's a summery kind of cherry. Candy cherry, it almost kind of gives you kind of that bomb pop-ish kind of cherry smell also with it. It's kind of a candy cherry and a bomb pop cherry kind of a smell. It says almonds, uh, sugared almonds. I don't know that I get a lot of sugared almonds in this. Um, the velvety white chocolate ice cream. I'm not sure about that either. It could maybe be, maybe this given a little bit of sweetness in there maybe. But I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't say I thought it was, ooh, that's white chocolate ice cream if I didn't know it said that. Uh, it's just kind of a cherry scent. It's kind of a sweet cherry scent, really. But when I warmed it, it kind of came off per perfumey to me, a little body care. Not necessarily perfumey, more, more body care than perfume. Yeah, it had kind of a body care perfuminess, but it, it worked, though. It's kind of like a, like if you go to Bath & Body Works, you get like a cherry vanilla body care. You know, like a a sweet, fruity body care type of scent. So, what do I have written down here? I had this going in the kitchen. And I had it going for about 48 hours as well, for two days. I have actually kind of liked this scent more when warming. Definitely candy cherry, just a slight touch of sugared almond. 
I don't really get the white chocolate ice cream. It kind of smelled slightly perfumey body care when warming, like a sweet, fruity body care. Um, the throw was about a six and a half to seven out of 10. So it was a good medium. Um, I have would possibly repurchase. We will see how the last four cubes do. And it lasted for about two days. So I have four cubes left. Some of these I, um, quite a few of these I did the whole bar, but some of them I didn't. This one I just did four cubes. So we'll see, I'll do the other four cubes. And then if I like it again, I might get some more of this. So yeah, I like that. That's cherry vanilla. Next up, oh, love this one. Happy birthday. This is a candy delicious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. This is so good. This is going straight to my club when it comes out on June 1st. This is such a good, it's just birthday cake. Exactly, it says birthday cake. I get the cake note, I get the vanilla extract, I get the whipped cream, all that stuff. Yes, really good. I've heard some people say in some of the videos I've watched that they think it's like a marble cake, which is kind of like a little bit of chocolate and vanilla. I could maybe see that a little bit. I didn't really think of that until they said it. I did not pick up chocolate at all until they said that and then I'm like smelling it and thinking, okay, maybe I could kind of get that. But I get mostly vanilla. There might be a hint of a little bit of chocolate, but it's mostly vanilla to me. Vanilla cake. Really, really good. I love this so much and it did really good. It, it threw really good in the bedroom I had it in. Probably it was like a, what do I have down here? Uh, eight out of 10, yes. So I have this in the master bedroom and master bath. I had only four cubes through the warmers in my master bedroom and master bath. Uh, I started it uh, on a Tuesday, ended on Thursday. So it was 48 hours on this one as well. I have, oh my God, I love this scent. It's an amazing bakery scent. You for sure get that cake bakery note with the sugar, whipped cream, and vanilla extract. Cake and icing. Uh, eight out of 10, lasted two days, possibly more because it was on the second day when I went to go change this out, I tried to warm all of these for two days, for 48 hours. Um, like I would put it in like at seven o'clock PM one day, I would take it out seven o'clock PM the other day, like, you know, like on a Monday, then on Wednesday I would change it out at seven o'clock. So I kept it in for all these almost all for 48 hours. Um, but when I went to go change it, it was still smelling. I could still smell it going into that. After that second day, I could still smell it lingering in there. Um, so I think this would probably linger a little bit longer than two days. Um, definitely would repurchase and it's going straight to my club. Oh yes. I think I might even have to get like a three pack or a six pack before I, with my next order. <sighs> yes, but it's for sure going to my club cause I want that. I don't want to be without that. I see the hype and I love it. I know why there's so much hype. All right, next up we have watermelon patch. And this is sweet vine ripened watermelon is all it is. This was nice. This very summery and really good. It's just watermelon. It's, it's like a candied watermelon, like a, a Jolly Rancher candied watermelon or like watermelon Laffy Taffy, some kind of watermelon candy to me is what it smelled like. Very sweet watermelon type of candy scent. Uh, it says vine ripened watermelon. I don't think that means you're going to smell the vine. I think it just means it's like a watermelon you pull off the vine and then that's just the watermelon you're smelling. Because they actually do have some watermelon scents that actually do have like a, like the, the green, like the rind of the watermelon. This didn't have any of that in there. I think Goose Creek has a candle. I can't remember what it's called. I want to say it's not watermelon rind or is it? I don't think it is. It's something to do. It has that watermelon rind in that candle and that scent. This doesn't have that. It's just a candied watermelon, like a candy watermelon. It's not like a vine, right? Uh, like you're actually cutting into it and you can smell the watermelon rind. It's just like a candy more than, than more than that. So this was a, it was a medium throw too. I have had this going downstairs um, for 48 hours again. And I have nice candied watermelon scent, similar to watermelon Jolly Rancher or other watermelon candy. Not really vine ripened watermelon to me, no green note or watermelon rind, which like I said, I don't think it's supposed to be. I think by the notes, I'm thinking it's just supposed to be watermelon you picked off the vine, but it's not supposed to smell like a green vine. 
Enjoyed it, very summery, would repurchase. Seven out of 10 throw, lasted a day and a half about. Cause, yeah, cause by the end of the second day, I really couldn't smell it. It lightened up quite a bit by the end of the second day, but yeah, I liked it. And our friend came over, one of Brad's clients, a friend of ours too, she came one downstairs, she's like, oh my God, it smells so good down here. Yeah, I really like that, so I would get that again. Next is Harbor's Edge. And it is beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak ferns sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. So if you watched our first sniffs, I said that our friend Samantha sent me a bar of this because she loves this. I think it's in her club. And it was really light, like I could barely smell it when I warmed it in our open concept. So I warmed this in the bedroom in our master bedroom and master bath, and it did much better, and I could smell it much better this time. And I really like it, I really like it. There's so many notes in this, so I feel like, I mean, I, I, I kind of get it all. I, beach grass, fire and raspberry, yeah. I feel like I get the northern oak, and like the beach grass with the musk a little bit most, and then just a little bit of that raspberry, sweet raspberry in there. Um, yeah, salty musk. You kind of get all this. Very, it's summery. It's, 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 uh, yeah, like it would be kind of, uh, with the water. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I do like it. It's just a mixture of all that stuff. It kind of reminded me when I warmed it a little bit of Fearless by Nature, the Disney Frozen collection bar. That one has a lot of sage, but there's something in there that kind of came off like that a little bit. And I love that scent. So uh, Fearless by Nature is one of my favorites. Wasn't quite as strong as my sage like that. It was a lighter version of that with less like of that sage type of note. But it gave me hints of that a little. It kind of reminded me a little bit of it, but it wasn't exactly like it, but just, I kind of got little hints of it in there. Yeah, so it was nice. Um, it didn't last a long time though. So I'll go on my notes here. I have a, I had to go in 48 hours in the master bedroom, master bath. I actually like this, did much better in bedroom than the other bar that I had in the open concept that I couldn't smell. Um, I get the beach grass and northern oak fern most and salty musk. I do get a slight undertone of that flowering raspberry. Something in here reminds me of Fearless by Nature. When warming, a little like a lighter version with less sage. Didn't last long, maybe five to six hours and then it died off to really, really light. Um, it was about a six, at, six out of 10 at the height of it. Um, I have not a repurchase. I did like it. I probably would have, if it would have lasted longer. Like I said, it was five to six hours and then, and then it got really light, kind of like the other bar was the whole time. But this one did much better the first five or six hours. But then it, but then after that, I, it was so light. I, I just did, didn't get a whole bunch, didn't get a whole bunch after that five to six hours. But the first five to six hours, I really liked it. But I, to me, like I said, it was kind of similar to that Fearless by Nature. I haven't heard anybody else say that, but I think it was. So I think I have that in my club. So I think I'm just going to, I don't think I'd repurchase this. But it was fairly nice though. Then we have Hemingway. Loved this. It's ripe, ripe, rich, ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. You get all that. It's so good. Yeah, really, really good. This is such a good fall scent. Like you can't, you couldn't get much of a better scent than this for fall. I think it's really good. It's one of the good, good, good fall scents type of scents. So I get all that. I get the apples and the woodsiness. I really get the woods, woody accents, um, sandalwood, cedar. That's all woody, all the woodiness. And then with that apples, and then you do get spice in there with the spice, the woods, and the apples. But that's all it is. Spice, woods, and apples. And it's amazing. So good. Some people said it, it's kind of like cedar cider. I think so, but cedar cider was pretty light for me when I warmed it last year. That was the first time I warmed it last year, and it was pretty light. This was really strong. I did this in the open concept. So my notes are... I had it going 48 hours in the open concept in kitchen. So I had it going in our kitchen and in our living room here in the open concept. Uh, love, love, love everything about this bar. You get all the notes, very fall scent, but also winter. Yeah, you could maybe do it in the winter too, but I think it's really fall. 
Um, I get the apples with the accents of sandalwood and cedar and then some spice, but not overly spicy. So this was an eight to 10 in my open concept, eight out of 10 in my open concept. I did so good in the open concept. I could smell it all through here when I come in the uh, house after we went for a walk, came back in. Oh, it smells so good in here. Um, it lingered for two days, probably three if I would have let it. This was just like that birthday. It was still going when I changed it on the second day. I probably would have left it in, but I was trying to review all these. So I took it out a little bit sooner than I normally would have. But yeah, um, definitely would repurchase Possible Club. I, the more I think about it, this is probably going to go in my club. Because I loved it. And it performed an open concept, so that's a big plus right there too. Love that one. Next up. We have beach. Papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. So this bar is such an inter interesting bar for me. If you saw our first sniffs, I said that I, there was an odd, it was just kind of weird. There's an odd note in here. It was just kind of weird. I think it's that papaya in here that's, that's kind of weird. So papaya can be kind of odd. Uh, some people say like stinky peat or B.O. I think it was Yankee Candle that had a papaya candle. I don't remember what it was called. Papaya, was it Papaya Sunrise or something like that? That one had a really strong B.O. type of scent. Like, it was really bad to me. That papaya just came off like B.O., like terrible. This isn't like B.O., but I don't know if it's that, I think the honeydew kind of like calms down that papaya a little bit and sweetens it out so it cuts that B.O. maybe but yet it still kind of comes out a little bit. It's like trying to calm down that papaya, but that papaya is still kind of like coming through a little bit and I'm going to make it seem a little bit weird, but yet the coconut, coconut, right? Yeah. Coconut and that honeydew are making it smell kind of good. And then it's, but yet it's kind of weird at the same time. Like I don't, I, I didn't like this scent, but yet I kind of did. So weird. Okay. So, I have, I had this going in our open concept in kitchen. So I had it going through the whole open concept, just like I had a uh, Hemingway and I had this going for 48 hours, two days as well. This is an interesting scent for sure. Papaya and honeydew and just a hint of coconut. I think that papaya mixed with the honeydew is coming off kind of weird. Warming has warming. was better, but still odd, but I liked it at the same time. Oddly kind of want to try it again, but yet I don't. It's, I've never had a scent like this to where I didn't kind of like it. I did like it better on warming because I thought, okay, I still get that kind of weirdness about it, but yet I kind of like it too. It's like, there's something in here I liked, but then there's something in there I wasn't super crazy about. So it was like battling each other out. But I didn't hate what I didn't like. It was just kind of weird. But yet I'm like, but it's kind of good. <laughs> I've never had a scent like this th that I felt so conflicted with. But like I said, I kind of want to try it again. And it was really strong too. It was like a nine out of 10, my open concept. When I first put this in my warmers immediately, like within 30 seconds, I was smelling this. It was just filling up the whole the concept here. Our neighbors are across the street. They could smell it over across the street. We had our, uh, the air was uh, off. We didn't have the air on. So we had our door open. We have a screen door. They could smell it across the street. They say they can smell our sensei quite a bit. When we have our air off and the doors open, they can smell our sensei. She said one day, she was like, she told her husband when I got home, she goes, you smell that? What is that? What do I smell? He goes, I think it's pineapple. <laughs> I think it's sensei. So yeah, I mean, you're not a good sensei consultant if your whole neighborhood don't smell like sensei when you have your air off and the door open, right? So yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, where was that here? <laughs> Lost my place. Yeah, nine out of 10. Uh, I don't know, I think I might get another bar of this. I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm cold, I just thought it was so weird. But yeah, I kind of like it. Maybe it's growing on me, maybe it's just gonna have to grow on me maybe. But I think I wanna try it again. I know a lot of people love it and then I know a lot of people don't like it. So I'm maybe I'm kind of in the middle. It's not one of the ones, sometimes you either love it or you hate it because I'm in the middle, so it's, it's, it's in the middle for me. Okay, we're uh, next, White Sands. Night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. This was really pretty. Yeah, I really like this the more I warmed it. Really nice. 
Um, I get for sure it's jasmine, but it's not like super floral. I guess it's that coconut milk and the rice that calm down that floralness, I guess. Kind of has a sandalwood quality to me too. A lot of these I think have a little bit of, of sandalwood to them even though that's not always in the notes. I think, I, did somebody say it reminded them of satin sheets? Cause I kind of get a satin sheets vibe with this too. I think I heard somebody say that and I do kind of get like a satin sheets kind of vibe. Really pretty, it's kind of body care like a little bit too. Really nice though, I did like it. And this was, um, it was a light medium kind of a scent. So I have, I had this going in the master bedroom and master bath for 48 hours, for two days. Really nice scent, nice soft blend of jasmine and coconut milk. Not sure about rice. I mean, I don't know. I don't know exactly what rice smells like. Uh, gives me summer feels. It did give me summer feels. Also soft laundry feels as well. It could be slightly body carriage. Yeah, body carriage. It could be a little laundry like, yeah. Soft scent, but present. Uh, six and a half out of 10. Sometimes maybe even close to a seven out of 10, but probably more like a six, six and a half out of 10. Um, lingered for two days, probably maybe would have gone longer. So there's another one that was still lingering on the end of the second day. And I would repurchase this. Yeah, I like that, that was really nice. Next is Love and Kisses Mini. And it is the sweetest girl is the one you'll never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. So we have uh, uh, the red berries, apricot and creamy vanilla. So I got, that's pretty much all I got. I mean, with all that, just like the notes. It is, like I said on cold, I get the berries. Um, berries and vanilla for sure. And then just a little bit of apricot in there. The more I smell it, the more I get that apricot mixed with that berries. So it's a good mixture of berries and apricot with vanilla. It's like a creamy berries and apricot, just like it says. Really good blend. But it was really, 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 really light. Like, I have four and four to five out of 10, but I'm thinking it's more like maybe three to four out of 10. It was pretty light. So I had this going downstairs in my warmers downstairs for two days is like all of them, 48 hours. I have, uh, so I got the berries and vanilla with, um, a little bit of apricot, nice creamy fruity scent, light four to five out of 10, probably more like three to four out of 10. Yeah. I had it going down there and I just, I kept going downstairs. I'm like, I just, I couldn't smell much of it. I did smell it more in the bathroom for some reason. When I went in the bathroom downstairs, I could smell it more when I went in there, but it was like a three to four out of 10. It was just really light. And usually in the bed, bedroom downstairs, it, it does a really good sense in there, but I, it wasn't, I could barely smell it in there for some reason, but I, it smelled stronger in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was just too light. I like the scent on cold. If it would have been stronger, I maybe would have repurchased, but it was just too light. Um, I've heard a few others say it's been light for them too, but then some other people have said it's been okay. So I guess you just have to try it and see for yourself. And then lastly, for the 10 I have here, my first 10 that I warmed, fuzzy blanket. This is snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. This was nice. I actually have this going right now in the master bedroom and master bath. Today, uh, what time? Nine o'clock PM. It'll be 48 hours and it's five o'clock. So I have four more hours. I'm four hours short of 48 hours, but yeah, it's good. This is kind of, it gives me kind of Jamie time vibes. Like I said, my first sniff, but yet it's kind of like maybe a, I thought maybe a sister or brother to it, but it's a little more like a cousin. I feel like it's a softer version and a little bit sweeter than Jamie time. But it's nice. I I like this. I do really like this. So um, as far as the notes, for sure lavender. It's like a light sandalwood and then a sweet honeysuckle. I think that sweet honey, honeysuckle is what makes it a little sweeter than like Jamie Time. So it gives that light sweet floral and then lavender and then like a little bit of that woodsy, light woodsy lavender. Yeah, it's nice. Kind of like a laundry scent. This would be a good laundry scent. And it's a good bedroom type of scent. It's a relaxing bedroom scent. 
So I have here, uh, it was going 48 hours, well almost 48 hours, a little bit short of 48 hours because it's still going in there. This was a nice scent. I get an even mixture of the lavender, sandalwood, and honeysuckle. A nice, cozy, relaxing bedroom type of scent or laundry type of scent. Would be good in the laundry line. Like a sister or cousin to Jamie Time, but softer. Um, softer and sweeter than Jamie Time. Uh, this also kind of gave me a little bit of satin sheets vibes. Maybe not quite as much as the other one. What was that? Was that White Sands that gave me satin sheet vibes? Yeah, um, more jammy time than satin sheets. Um, also, a little bit this morning, and when I got home from work, it, there's something a little foody about this. It's I don't know if it's that sweetness in there. It's coming off a little sweet. I don't know if bakery necessarily, but like a sweet food or something. It had, had like a little bit of a sweet foody type of smell with it, a little bit. Um, I have maybe repurchased it was a soft it was about six to six and a half out of ten probably more like a six but it was nice um yeah i might repurchase this i think i maybe might at least get one more bar and it's a very good bedroom set really nice i did like that so yeah i'll probably get another bar of that so that's my first ten um do i have any that i wanted to club i think out of all these I think I only had two that I for sure run a club. Definitely happy birthday. And then um, Hemingway, I think I decided, yeah, Hemingway I think is going to my club. Um, all the rest, no club besides that, but I think I would repurchase Cherry Vanilla. I would repurchase Plum and White Woods. I would repurchase Fuzzy Blanket. Beach, I think I gotta try it again. I think I gotta try it again. White Woods. Uh, white sand, sorry, I would get that again. Harbor's Edge, I, uh, well, Watermelon Patch, I would get get again. The only two that I wouldn't get again for sure are, I don't think I'm gonna get Harbor's Edge again or Love and Kisses Me. But um, yeah, I think, and my favorites, of course, in this was Happy Birthday, and then probably first Happy Birthday and Hemingway were my favorite two out of this. And then the ones I wouldn't repurchase, least favorite, Love and Kisses Me was my least favorite because it just I couldn't smell it hardly at all. Um, then second was Hemingway, but from the bottom, I did really, I like this though. I just wish it would have lasted longer. I don't know, maybe I might change my mind after I warm the second four. I don't know, it was good though. Overall though, a lot of these are pretty good. So I was pretty happy with the first 10. So stay tuned for my warm reviews of the second 10. And this is going to go up today, May 31st. So tomorrow, all these bring back my bars here. And then the other 10 that I'm, that I, we did a first sniffs on are going to go on sale on our website or your consultant's website. So hopefully you can check some of those out. Make sure you bundle and save too, because you can bundle and save and get three for 17 or six for 30, which ends up being five, five, get one free. That's the better deal to do. So, um, stay tuned and I will have my other 10 probably in like a week or so. So as I couldn't get them all melted before June 1st, but I, Got half of them done anyway. All right, so thanks for watching and hope you all enjoy the Bring Back My Bars. I love Bring Back My Bars, so much fun because especially when you're new because so many of these are new to me. But uh, yeah, it's such a fun time, Bring Back My Bar. All right, and then don't forget also the Sunshine State of Mind collection comes out tomorrow and then also the Scent and Warmer of the Month for June as well. All right, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.